You know, one of the best, actually I would say that the best life decision that I ever made was walking in my gift and walking in my purpose. I was really thinking about my life today and I was just thinking about how blessed I am. I am so blessed and I am so grateful. And I sat down and I you know, took time to ponder today and really go inside and I realized that the blessings and the gratitude that I feel in my life right now is because of the choices that I made and choosing to align myself with my God-given gift and walk in my purpose was the best decision that I made in my life. I have an amazing life because I have made amazing choices. You know, I work with women all the time and so many women have a hard time receiving compliments. They have a hard time acknowledging themselves for the things that they do. They have a hard time walking in their power, but yet they look to people on the outside to validate them, to acknowledge them, to tell them that they're doing a good job. It's important that we tell ourselves that we're doing a good job. It's important that we acknowledge the decisions and the choices we make. Now this goes two ways, right? You have to take responsibility for the choices that you make that are creating what you don't want to experience. And you also need to take responsibility and pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself for the choices that you're making that are contributing to you having an amazing life experience. You know, it took me, it took me quite a while to be open and receptive to walking in my gift. I will not come on this Facebook Live and tell a lie, you know, because I have an extremely unique gift. And in the beginning, I really didn't appreciate it. I have the gift of being able to connect with people. I'm extremely intuitive. I can pick things up on you without you even telling me things. And I was really nervous to embrace that gift in the beginning because I was more concerned about how people were going to look at me with this gift that, you know, they could say is woo woo or whatever. And then I remember very, very distinctly one time God spoke to me and said, this gift that I've given you is not about you. This is about who I need to reach through you. And when I got that message, I sat my behind down and I said, okay, Danica, you sit down because you are simply a vessel through which the great divine is trying to get something very valuable to someone. And the gift that is in each one of us serves that purpose. You know, people often say that I bought myself a gift. No, you didn't buy yourself a gift. You bought yourself something that you wanted. When we purchase a gift, we're purchasing a gift to give to somebody else. A gift is something that you give to someone else. I'm thinking about that song right now. It says, love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away, right? So a gift is something that you give away to someone. And usually when you buy a gift for someone, you know, you're excited about it. It's something that's great. It's something that you put a lot of time and you put effort into giving them. And you feel good about giving someone a gift. Well, the gift that God has given you is for you to give to other people. It's for you to help somebody do something, accomplish something, receive something, get to another level in something. So if you are like me, how I was, if today you are like how I was, and you acknowledge that you have a gift, and you're a little bit confused or you know not sure about how you bring that gift to the world, can I help you? Can I really help you to choose to walk in your gift? Can I help you to align yourself with your God-given purpose? Because that's the gift that God gave me. And I am so intentional right now about walking in my gift and walking in my purpose because it's not about me. It's about who God has gifted me with this ability for. When you sing, if you have the gift of singing, that's not serving you if you're just singing in your shower or looking at yourself in the mirror or in the house singing it. It is such a blessing when you use that beautiful voice and you sing it out to other people that they can be blessed and that they can be moved by your gift. That's the same way it is with the God-given gift that, that you have been ingrained with, that aligns with your purpose, that is given for you to make a difference in this world. So I'm speaking to all the powerful women out there, the powerful women who know that there's something unique, that there's something special, that there's something purposeful about your life. 
If you are that woman and you're realizing in 2018 that you need to make some steps towards aligning yourself with your purpose, towards walking in your gift, towards being a blessing for other people, then I want to invite you to connect with me at my upcoming workshop on August the 18th. I only have a few seats left. And if you know that you're called for greater, if you know that you are not walking fully in the power that God has put inside of you, then I want to invite you to connect with me. Don't, don't, don't carry that gift to your grave. Don't, don't keep that gift in your house or in your car and not allow that gift to be a blessing and a help and an encouragement and an upliftment and a building to somebody else because you are doing yourself a disservice. You're doing that person a disservice who God has given you the gift for and you're doing the world a disservice. We sit down so often and we complain about what's happening in the world. Instead of complaining, what we need to do is sit down and say, okay, what is my role in this? Why this is affecting me so much? What is this coming to tell me? What is the attention that it's trying to get from me? If you need help with that, that's the gift that I've been given. That's the gift that God has given me. Ask anybody who knows me. They'll tell you I have so fully embraced this gift. You know, I have a client that I'm working with and I've been working with her for about two months now. And she sent me a voice message the other day. And she said, now you do not need to call me back. I am just calling you to tell you this. She said, you have been an absolute godsend in my life. She said, not only has my personal life transformed since working with you, but my business life has transformed with working since working with you. She said, my whole mindset has changed since working with you. She said, I now see possibility in every area of my life. She didn't see that when she first came to work with me. That's my gift. And I want to help you to connect to your gift and tap into your gift. Okay. Because the gift was designed to make room for us, to provide for us and to be a blessing to other people. Let me be a gift to you. Okay. And let your gift make room for you. That's why God gave it to you.